Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy King Killer back here today with another video. Thank you guys for dropping by. So in today's video, we about to be rebuilding the Charlotte Hornets. Now, this is about to be a special episode just because we do have LaMelo Ball on the team. Now, LaMelo is going to be our franchise player, so he is not going anywhere. This video, we're going to be building around him. We're going to try to get him some help in Charlotte. And taking a look at the record for Charlotte, you see right here, they are 7-17 seven and 17 and sitting 13th in the conference. So not looking good so far for LaMelo and the Hornets. So taking a look at the roster that they do have, like I said, LaMelo Ball, franchise player, not going nowhere. Terry Rozier, that's my guy. That's my dog. I love him because, you know, he held it down in Boston when he was there. But if you guys do know me, you guys know I do not like running players out of position or undersized players. And at 6'1", and at shooting guard, I would like to try to move on from Terry Rozier. Uh, moving on, Kelly Oubre, I wouldn't really mind bringing him back if we could get him for a good uh, good contract. Gordon Hayward is somebody else that, another Boston guy, somebody I, I loved when he was in Boston. Uh, I would like to try to trade him as well, just because in 2K, he never really progresses. Like, you always, even if you put his shot tendency up, he only averages around like 13, 14 points, maybe 15. But I would definitely like to try to trade him, but I don't really know any realistic trades. So we'll see. We might have to package him with like a first round pick or something. Moving on, PJ Washington is somebody that I wouldn't mind bringing back, but I also wouldn't mind letting go if we could find somebody better at the power forward position. Mason Plumlee probably going to be gone by the end of the year. Nick Richards is somebody I do want to give more minutes to just because he has been balling in real life. Uh, Jalen McDaniels is another guy I wouldn't really mind letting go or bringing back. Same thing with Dennis Smith Jr. And Cody Martin, I would like to try to find a trade for him just to get off that contract. And then you see the rest of the players right here are probably people that might not play or I might give a shot to later on. But yeah, so now that we're done with that, what do I think Charlotte needs? I'm... Um, honestly they just need some defense they just gotta get some defense up there just because they do have like shooters they do got people that can score the ball and you know they already got the offense they got that figured out because the mellow balls pretty much like runs the offense but they need some defense up in here and i'm not gonna lie i low-key have an idea of somebody that i would like to bring in to charlotte now i could realistically see the hornets doing something like this it might be a big risk, but somebody I would like to bring onto the team that I think would be a perfect fit, if he could stay healthy, would be Lonzo Ball. I just think that would make LaMelo like 10 times more happier because now he's playing with this big bro. And it's pretty much like the good old days when they was in Chino Hills playing alongside each other. And I just think this makes LaMelo happy because now he has somebody that he could trust, a teammate that he trusts, a teammate that he you know he knows that's going to bring a good, um, good things to the team. So... I would definitely like to do it, and I kind of think Chicago would do it as well, just because since he is always injured, like I said, if Lonzo could stay healthy, this would be a good duel for the Hornets, and it obviously would bring in a lot of money. But I could see, definitely see uh, Chicago making that trade, just because, um, just because Lonzo is always hurt, and I'm pretty sure they might blow it up this season because they have not been doing good. So I'll probably end up doing a Bulls rebuild anyways. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wait. To do any trades um i'm gonna simulate the season and hopefully we're already bad so i'm not expecting to do good this season so hopefully we could end up with a bad record and hopefully we can try to get the number one overall pick but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna simulate season number one and i'll catch you guys at the end of this season all right so at the end of season number one luka Doncic wins mvp paulo wins rookie of the year zach collins winning six man of the year you never really see that Giannis winning defensive player of the year troy murphy winning most improved and then joe mazula winning coach of the year does LaMelo make an all-NBA team? He probably does it. Okay, so now he does it. And does anybody make an all-defensive team? I don't think so. All right, so we finished the year. Where did we finish? Okay, so we finished pretty bad. We, uh, actually not too bad. We, oh, actually we are in the playing tournament. Damn. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I did want a bad season just so I could get a high draft pick, but we finished as the 10th seed, so we go 39 and 43. Taking a look at the player stats for the season, I'm pretty sure LaMelo led us in pretty much everything, but 26 points for LaMelo, six and a half rebounds and nine assists with two steals. Terry Rozier balling out with 19 points. He's upping his trade value uh, with about four rebounds and five assists. Kelly Oubre with about 16 points, four and a half boards. Gordon Hayward with about 13. PJ Washington with about 11 and a half. 
and only 4.6 rebounds as our power forward. I might look to try to trade him, honestly. Nick Richards with about 10 points and 8 rebounds with 1.6 blocks. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr. with about 8 points. Jalen McDaniels with about 8 points. Mason Plumlee with about 7. And I think that's about everybody that played for us. So, I don't really care about this season. I'm pretty sure we're not going to win it anyway. So, I'm just going to go ahead and simulate the playing tournament. And we end up winning both games. So, we are facing the Boston Celtics in year one. And like I said, I kind of didn't want to make the playoffs. So, I doubt we get a good job pick this year. So, we're going to go ahead and simulate round number one. And are we going to end up beating Boston? We beat Boston in round one. Oh, my God. That's an AC. 2K got to fix that low key. Because if I was controlling the Celtics and the AC beat me, I'd be so bad. But taking a look at the uh, the matchups right here, you see game number one, we lost by five points. Game number two, we won. Game number three, we lost. Game number four, we won by one point. Game number five, we lost. Game number six, we won by two points. And then game seven, we won by three points. Oh, I'd be mad if I was controlling Boston. But taking on the, the Miami Heat, we are facing... They didn't get anybody new, so... Pretty much the same team, so uh, are we gonna win? Okay, so we win. So we are now in the conference finals. And it's funny because I'm not even, I wasn't even trying to make it this far. So we are facing Atlanta, and they did not add, oh, they added Miles Bridges. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this. Watch, I guarantee you we're gonna win. Oh, we get swept. <laughs> okay, so I was about to say we go to the finals in year number one, but uh, we do end up losing so now we are going to be heading into the off season and now things get interesting because now i don't think anybody retires from our team no nah. okay so now like i said i don't really think we get a high draft pick we end up actually the spurs got our pick yeah the spurs got our pick at 15 so we didn't even have our pick this year but now comes the fun part because i'm going to go ahead and try to get lonzo ball on the team so i'm going to go ahead and switch terry rozier to a point guard all right so i'm going to be offering terry rozier cody martin a first round pick in three seconds for lonzo ball does this get it done please tell me yes okay finally so we bring in lonzo ball to charlotte and now Lamelo ball is 10 times happier because he is now playing alongside his big brother and I'm gonna move LaMelo to the two guard. So now we got Lonzo at the one and LaMelo at the two. So already we are, we are making better decisions. We are bringing in defense, we are bringing in playmaking, something that Charlotte desperately needed. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to free agency and I'll just show you guys who I end up signing. All right, for the start of season number two, this is a lineup we're gonna be rocking with. We got our new acquisition, Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball, Josh Hart, PJ Washington, and Nick Richards. Off the bench, we got Gordon Hayward, Dennis Smith Jr., Kai Jones, and James Booknight. And I'm not sure if I showed it, but I did go ahead and fire our coach and I ended up getting a new coach. So we are gonna go ahead and be three and a half, seven seconds. And I'm picturing we finish with about, with this team, we might, not be as good as i want to be so i'm gonna say we're gonna finish with at least a top five seed in the east so i'm gonna go ahead and simulate the season i'll catch you guys at the end of season number two all right so at the end of season number two Ja winning mvp victor winning rookie of the year ben simmons six man of the year Giannis winning defensive player of the year tyler hero winning most improved and then willie green winning coach of the year does Lamelo ball make an all nba team he does yes he does all nba second team and we got nobody else is anybody making all defensive team Lamont, oh, Lamalo, Lonzo and Lamelo both making the all defensive second team. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Now, where did we finish in the standings? I don't think we finished too good. Okay, actually, no, never mind. We did. So we went 49 and 33. So that's best for third in the East. Now, I lowkey thought we were going to be a little bit worse, but I'll take a 49 and 33 record and take a look at the player stats for this team. Uh, LaMelo leading the way with 27 points, 7 rebounds, and almost 9 assists with 2 steals. Lonzo Ball with about 15, 5, and 7 with also 2 steals. That's why they made that all-defensive second team, baby. Gordon Hayward with about 13 and a half. Uh, Josh Hart with about 13 and 6 rebounds. Uh, PJ Washington with about 12 points and 4 rebounds. So I will look to try to trade him for another power forward. I kind of have a power forward in mind, so we'll see what happens with that. Nick Richards with about 10 points and 7 boards. And then James Booknight with about 8 points. Was he efficient? Uh, okay, he was pretty efficient. Dennis Smith Jr. with about 8 points. And yes, he was efficient as well. And then Kai Jones with about 7.5 points and 5 boards. Now, where are we are going to... Okay, so we're going to be facing the Indiana Pacers. Now, Indiana really doesn't scare me. So they have 
Uh, did they add anybody? They added Jonathan Isaac, okay. And Dylan Brooks. Uh, and Chris, George Finney-Smith. Okay, so they added a couple people. So we're going to go ahead and simulate round number one. And we end up beating them in five. Okay, so not bad, not bad. Taking a look at the box scores. Game number one, we ended up winning. Game number two, we ended up winning. Game number three, uh, three. Game number three, we ended up uh, losing. Game number four, we ended up winning by eight. And then game number five, we ended up winning by 11. Now, taking off Philly, and did they add anybody? They added Harrison Barnes, and they added Miles Bridges. So we were just facing Miles Bridges every year in the playoffs, it seems like. Uh, last year, what team was he with? Atlanta, I think. Uh, so did they add anybody else? Not really. And yeah, they're the seventh seed, so I'm not really too scared, so... Going up against him, I just don't know who's going to hold Embiid. And as soon as I say that, we ended up losing. Uh, I bet Joel Embiid went off. Yeah, he went off. Okay, so we lost in five games. So now we're going to go ahead and simulate as the Boston Celtics end up winning the finals. So for our last year, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to bring in a... Not a star, but I would like to try to bring in somebody that is an all-star caliber player. And somebody that could actually grab rebounds. All right, so I'm going to end up doing this trade. P.J. Washington and a second round pick for Brandon Clark. And I can just go ahead and slam to the power forward spot. So now we do get somebody that is a good rebounder. And does he go up if I move him? Okay, so he does. So I'm pretty much just going to run it back with the same team. I think uh, we got one, two, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to run it back with the same team. And I'll just see you guys at the start of season number three. All right, so for the start of season number three, you see the lineup right here. Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball, Josh Hart, Brandon Clark, and Nick Richards. Off the bench, I ended up signing Karis LeVert instead of bringing back Gordon Hayward. I just went ahead. And they were pretty much asking for the same price. So I just went ahead and offered them a contract. Kai Jones, Dennis Smith Jr., and James Booknight. And I'm expecting this team to go ahead and finish. I'm going to say, I'm going to say top two. I'm going to say this team will finish with a top two record in the East. System proficiency is four stars. Is anything better than four stars? No, it is not. So we'll leave it at four stars. And yeah, I'm expecting a big season out of this team. Top two in the East. And I'll see you guys at the end of the final season. All right, so we're here at the end of season number three. Ja winning MVP again. Justin Edwards, Rookie of the Year. Jalen Duran, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year. Scoot, Most Improved. And then Steven, Coach of the Year. And does LaMelo make an All-NBA team? He does, once again, All-NBA second team. And Lonzo did not make it. All right. Does anybody make it on the All-Defensive team? Surprisingly, they did not. Nobody made it on the All-Defensive second team. Okay. So, taking a look at the record where we finished. We finished... Damn, we finished with a worse record than we did last season. Did we go 46 and 36? I don't know. I think I didn't bring enough defense into this team, low-key. Oh, okay, so that's my bad. I look he should have brought more defense So taking a look at the record. I mean taking a look at these stats for the season Lamella with about 29 6 and 8 and a half with 1.7 steals Lonzo with about 16 points four rebounds nine assists and two steals and he didn't make it Damn, okay. Karis LeVert as our sixth man with about 14 and a half points. Was he efficient? Okay, so he was pretty efficient Josh Hart with about 12 points almost six boards and five assists. Oh, this guy's a good player on 2k Nick Richards with about 11 points and 7 boards. Uh, James Buchner with about 11 points as well. Brandon Clark with about 8 points and 6 boards. Kai Jones with about 8 points and 6. Dennis Smith Jr. with about 7.5. And, and yeah, so... I don't know. Like I said, I think I just didn't bring enough defense on this team, low-key. So, we are going to be going up against the Toronto Raptors. They, they added Greg Dickey. And they added Anthony Davis. No way, they added AD. Did they trade him or they signed him? I think they signed him. Uh, yeah, they signed Anthony Davis. Okay. So, yeah, we're we're probably not going to win this, but I'm going to be straight up. We're not. We're probably not going to win this, but you know what? I got to be confident in my team. This is the TR rebuilding, so we're going to go ahead and change these um, minutes around. So, uh, Dennis Smith Jr. could get about 14. James Bougainer could get about 14 as well. Kai Jones will go ahead and bump him up. Uh, actually, we'll probably keep him as it is. Uh, Karis LeVert is going to get about 30. Uh, Nick Richards uh, could stay at 30. Uh, we'll probably just give the last two minutes to LaMelo and Lonzo. So this is going to be the team I'm rocking with. Now, 
I hope we can at least win a couple games. So I would actually do it with Simcast just because uh, this isn't going to be the final season. So game number one, uh, we end up... Okay, so we're getting blown out pretty much. And yeah, we end up getting blown out in game number one by 42 points. Okay, that's not what you want to see. Who had a good game? Damn, it wasn't even Anthony Davis that killed us. They had three players scored more than 26 points. That'll usually do it. <laughs> Moving on to game number two. I'm just going to simulate the game. Uh, game number two, we end up losing by two points. Oh, bummer. Game number three, is it any better? Okay, so we do win a game. That's what I'm talking about. Karis LeVert with 23, Lonzo with 20, or Lamelo with 20. No, it was Lonzo. Lonzo with 20 and 10. Uh, we're just going to need big games out of Lonzo and Lamelo Ball pretty much. Game number four, we do end up losing by six. Lam uh, Lamelo dropping 35. Uh, this is not good. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and change this up real quick. Just one more time. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna give these guys 38 minutes apiece. Why not? So, do we end up putting up a fight in our last game? Probably not. Uh, let's see how it goes. So first quarter, okay, we do win the first quarter. The second quarter, we do end up winning. That's right. Uh, they're coming back in the third. They came back in the fourth. We're up by 10 up by 15. Yeah, we won this one Okay, two more games. Come on. Can we win two more games two games in a row here in Charlotte? We cannot lose right here Lose the first quarter. We are coming back in the second quarter. We are coming back in the third quarter They end up winning the third quarter. So we're down by 12 in about eight minutes to go. Come on. Don't do this to me Don't do this to me on oh, the Charlotte Hornets are eliminated. So this is the first time I do not win a rebuild Ah, uh, damn, that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the playoff stats real quick. Uh, let's see how our team did. And Lamelo with about 25 points, five rebounds, and 12 assists. Nick Richards with about 15 and six and a half. Lonzo, I was kind of expecting more from uh, Josh Hart with about 14. Karis LeVert with about 12. Uh, Brandon Clark with about 10. Kai Jones with about eight. James Booknight with about seven, and Dennis Smith with about four. Ah, okay, so Loki, I should have brought more defense to this team. I didn't really know who else to go for. I kind of had some people in mind, but I don't think they were available in free agency. Or I probably should have uh, made some moves, some more moves or like some more signings, but I didn't really want to trade a lot of the players. So, as you see right here, the Raptors end up winning the championship at ADHR Finals MVP. But yeah, I should have went ahead and I should have brought more defense to this team. But that's what the Charlotte Hornets need to do right now. I just think they need to bring in somebody that Lonzo trusts. Somebody that's obviously has all-star potential. And like I said, if Lamel, I mean, if Lonzo could actually stay healthy, I really do think this would be a perfect fit in Charlotte because they're going to sell so many more tickets because they got both Lonzo Ball and Le uh, Lonzo Ball and Lamelo Ball on the same team. And I think D'Angelo is still signed to the Charlotte Hornets as well. So... I just think that would be such a perfect fit, like I said, if he could stay healthy because he does bring defense and he does bring playmaking, and that's what Charlotte really needs. They need another playmaker and they need more defense. So that's going to go ahead. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link will be down below in the description. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch y'all next time. Stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.